Hi guys and welcome to a video which I have been wanting to do for a long time but I have been putting it off. I don't know why but now I really need to get on with it because my skin is about to turn into the desert. I am on Roaccutane or Accutane depending on where you're from. You'll see very soon in this video exactly why I am on this medication and before my skin turns into the desert I want to talk to you guys about all the things that I have done over the years to help my super duper oily skin. Skin. So because I have so many tips and tricks and hacks for you guys, I wanted to try and present these in the easiest way possible. And I think the easiest way is to kind of go from morning through the day and into the nighttime, basically routines. So starting at the very beginning with face wash. So your face wash should contain something called salicylic acid. All it basically does is deep clean your pores, which means that it's also really great for acne prone skin too, which if you've got oily skin, then it's highly likely that you do kind of have some spots going on too. So definitely get onto that salicylic acid cleanser. Next step is toner. And it's up to you if you want to use a toner or not. I kind of have to be careful about what kinds of toners I use because a lot of skincare products like toners contain alcohol. The thing with alcohol is it kind of dries you out. You might think, oh yeah, like I have so much oil. Of course I want to kind of get rid of it and dry it out a bit. Problem is if you start trying to dry out your skin, your skin is going to freak out and think it needs to work even harder and produce more oil. So if you do want a toner, maybe just stick to one that's super gentle. And the next step in your routine is going to be moisturizer. It is a myth that those with oily prone skin do not need moisturizer, but try and find moisturizers that have a gel consistency, not a cream consistency. A lot of creams can be kind of too thick and they don't get readily absorbed into the skin. So if you can find one that has a gel consistency, that's a lot better for oily prone skin types. Also, if you wear sunscreen, which we should all be wearing sunscreen. I don't really take my own advice when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I really should. But we should all be wearing sunscreen, but you might have to go through a little bit of trial and error when it comes to your sunscreen. It's just one of those products that can be a little bit iffy with people and set people off. And even ones which say they're made for sensitive skin, they still look really greasy and can cause problems. Maybe have a bit of a look around. If I can find some information for you about good ones, I'll put it down below, but feel free to share your fave sunscreen with me in the comments as well. Now my next tip is actually really really super important. Uh, you need to give yourself time in the morning when you're actually doing your skincare and especially if your next step is makeup. Your skincare needs a bit of time to actually sink into your skin. Give it at least half an hour to an hour. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but think what else you can do in that time while you're getting ready. And just to squish a little mini tip in here, I like to use tissues. Yes, tissues. <laughs> Before I go ahead and do all my makeup, I like to blot my face with a tissue just to see if I've got any kind of excess moisturizer and it just helps to absorb that extra moisturizer and I'm ready to go with my next step. And it's at about this point in the video where I'm sure I'm about to lose the majority of my male audience because I'm going to talk about makeup. Makeup can sometimes be one of those things that makes or breaks your face, right? <laughs> I'm sure you've been in that situation where you put your makeup on in the morning and then it gets to about midday or early afternoon. You look in the mirror and you're like, what happened? What happened? Now there's a few things you can do to prep your skin ready for makeup so everything will kind of stick there where it's supposed to for the entire day. The first thing is of course primer. I think we're all very much on that primer train at this point. The other thing you can do is actually spray your face with a setting spray just a little bit before you actually go in with any of your makeup. But my favorite favorite thing to do powder your face before you put it on. I absolutely friggin love this tip. What I tend to do is just use a little bit of loose powder and I put that onto one of my really dense thick brushes, dust that onto your face. I put it all over my face but maybe you just have a bit of an oily t-zone so you don't need to do that but for me it's all over the shop. If you put too much on it's gonna be a nightmare so really go easy on this stuff. Just need a teeny tiny amount. It's wonderful. So that's basically your prep. So let's talk 
about foundation. I advise that you either use a powder foundation or a liquid foundation. Maybe you prefer cream, that's okay, we've all got our preferences. But for me, I think that either a powder foundation is amazing because powders will help to absorb the oil throughout the day or a long lasting liquid foundation. Also make sure that you're getting foundations that say that they are non-comedogenic, is that how you pronounce it? I think that's how you pronounce it. And that they are oil free, of course. After foundation, I like to use something else because with tea, I said it before, tissues. <laughs> I like to use tissues on my foundation, uh, especially if I've used a liquid foundation. So I give my foundation maybe, I don't know, like five minutes or so to kind of settle in and, and warm up to my skin. And after that time, before I go in with any kind of powder, I blot my face with a tissue just to remove any excess foundation and make sure it's nice and smooth and ready for powder. And powder is vital guys. It's like your new best friend. Okay, so definitely powder your face. And if you wanna use um, either a translucent or maybe something with color, personally, I always use one with color because I have so much acne and redness going on. So this definitely does give me that extra level of comfort knowing that I'm all covered up. So once you've done your foundation, what comes next? Things like bronzer or blush. My next tip in regards to all this kind of gear is to try and stick with matte. The reason being is that as the day progresses, you probably are gonna get at least a little bit shiny. And uh, if you've already got a bit of shine happening here, it's just gonna make it all worse. You're gonna look like a mirror ball. Of course, it doesn't really work with highlighters. So if you do wanna use highlighters, of course, your prerogative, go for it. Highlighters can be really awesome. Uh, but just try and use a little bit, use them sparingly, and be aware that as the day progresses that your skin will probably Probably get a little bit more shiny. And finally, you probably want to set your masterpiece, don't you? You want to set your face. So get out that finishing spritz and spritz away, put it on there. And there you go, guys. Your makeup is done. Okay, morning routine is done. What the hell do you do for the rest of the day, guys? Well, you need to watch yourself. We tend to get the most oily kind of around middle of the day and early afternoon. So between 12 and your skin is going to naturally produce oil no matter what you do to it or what you put on it. So my next tip is to use something to help blot away that excess oil. You can get blotting papers and these are really fantastic. You can just use it once and then chuck it out. Uh, you can use your little pressed powder compact, very cute. You can also use translucent powder and bop that on your face during the day. If you're in a real pinch, you can also use toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, so you've got through the day and oh my God, your face is ready to come off. What do you do in terms of the nighttime? Well, you cleanse, baby, you cleanse. You could use an oil cleanser. So I think these are becoming more readily available. I know they're super popular in Japan, but what I personally like to do is use a super gentle, pH balanced cleanser and I double cleanse. Once for getting rid of all of your makeup and a second time for actually properly cleansing your face. And if you use one that's fairly neutral and pH balanced, that's soap free and isn't gonna kind of disrupt anything, then it's also not gonna disrupt your oil production. After cleansing, I like to fight oil with oil. Now this might not be everybody's cup of tea, <clears throat> Sorry, um, <clears throat> maybe I need a cup of tea because I've been talking so much. Using oils to combat oil is a really great strategy, but this is a bit more of a, uh, a long-term strategy. So you're not gonna see results straight away. Think a few months down the track. Personally, I really like rosehip oil. That's my number one. It also helps with redness and any kind of scarring that you might have going on too. Just, you know, maybe four or five drops, massage it into your hands, and press that nice and gently into your skin. Next, use a moisturizer. You can use the same moisturizer that you use during the day, uh, but maybe you want something that's a little bit thicker. It's all about trying to rebalance your skin. You wanna do things which 
do help to hydrate and keep your skin balance at the right level so it's not being put out of whack constantly and it's overproducing oil when it doesn't need to. Now, as you can tell, there's probably a few products and things in here where I don't know, I'm missing some things. I have some gaps in my information and knowledge. So please help me. Can you leave some comments down below? And if there are any products that you really love for oily skin, uh, or if there's any kind of gaps in my knowledge that you can help fill, fill it down below. Sounds kind of sus to me. Anyway, <laughs> if you got some info out of this, I hope that you can slam that like button and give it a little, and also subscribe if you haven't already, because I do stuff like this occasionally. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day, and I look forward to catching you all later. Bye guys! <laughs>